Hey, so what made you decide to watch this video, Decider? Maybe you have some extra time on your hands or you're interested in the subtle subconscious underpinnings of your decision making, or maybe you just like short hair. When it comes to making a decision, it seems pretty straightforward, right? You consider your choices for a bit and then you decide on a course of action or even inaction. But resolving to do something is far more complex than meets the eye. First, you have habit, which Charles Duhigg, the author of The Power of Habit, says creates such robust neural highways of decisions that we become automatic and just kind of cruise to a conclusion without even thinking about it. In fact, he says that up to 45% of our decisions are really just habits. Then you have the reward itself. Maybe it's the promise that if you do X, then a rainbow of kittens will magically appear and offer you pizza or porn or whatever your particular incentive is. Also, the conditions in which you make a decision influence outcome. That is how focused or distracted you are. The more background noise in whatever form it takes, the less your brain can actually concentrate at the task at hand, which would of course affect the ultimate decision that you make. Speaking of background noise, a recent study by neuroscientist Jesse Bankson and his colleagues at the University of California Davis found that when they eavesdrop on the brain making decisions, they heard a kind of static that runs in the background, which we'll get back to in a second. First, let's counterpoint this. Some might say that because I feel like I made a decision, like the direct subjective experience of say, snapping my fingers, that I'm in charge. End of argument, right? But there's a whole subconscious thing wherein I might have been absorbing data around me, subtly influencing my actions. Maybe I've been thinking about ancient Rome and that people not only clap when they were pleased, but they also snap their fingers like beret topped beatniks when they heard a good speech. We need proof though, right? So in the 1970s, a neuroscientist Benjamin Libet found that the part of the brain that plans and executes decisions, the motor cortex, fired prior to people pressing a button to make a decision. The idea is that this part of the brain already made the decision before the participants became actively or consciously aware of it. So back to the background noise that Benson and his colleagues picked up on in the brain before the decider decides. While the audible brain fuzz neither approves nor disproves free will, it does further support Libet's research that decisions are made far in advance of the mind's conscious awareness of them. So that background noise could even serve as the electric current that our consciousness rides on in the same way that radio static is used to carry a radio station. So if free will is indeed an illusion, why have a sense of it in the first place? Maybe it's a beautiful lie that we tell ourselves to get through the less kitten and rainbow moments of our lives. Maybe you have a better idea about it. If you do, let us know in the comments below. And to keep the videos coming, make sure to subscribe.